So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Inkscape to create a flat style map marker sort of logo like you see here. Uh, as you can see here, this is kind of like a map marker and it's indicating a, a place. And I'm going to show you how to create this using Inkscape. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and open up a new document. And this should be your view when you get started. Let's go ahead and click on the Align and Distribute menu to open that up. And then let's make sure you have Last Selected chosen from that menu. And then from there, we're going to go over to the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke. We're going to click that and open up that menu. And then we're going to go to View and make sure you have Custom selected. And then we're going to go to Zoom. We're going to zoom in one-to-one. -one. Then we'll go to File, Document Properties. And let's uncheck these two boxes and close that out. So the first thing we'll want to do is create a polygon. So you come over here to the Stars and Polygons button. We'll click on that. And from this menu bar up top here, click on the Polygon button. And Corners, we want six corners. So go ahead and click on six. And then the other two input values are supposed to be zero. So once you have that set, bring your cursor over to the canvas over here. Hold Control and Shift. And just click and drag to create your polygon. Well, mine's set at white. i got to color that in. Okay, so it should, it should be something like this. I'm actually going to delete that. Uh, here we go. You want to set it up something like this right here. You want these corners being perfectly straight up and down like that. Okay, and once you've done that, let's click on the arrow. And let's right-click this and go to Duplicate. And we'll turn that blue. And then holding Control and Shift, click on the bottom corner here. And just click and drag this in. Make it a little bit smaller like that. And then we'll right click this, we'll go to duplicate, we'll turn that green, and then we're gonna come up here to where it says snap to cusp nodes, we're gonna turn that on, and we're gonna take this and we're gonna drag this up here. So we want this bottom left corner to snap onto this top left corner like that. And then we're gonna right click this green one and make another copy of it, we'll go to duplicate, and we're gonna bring this one down here so it snaps under that corner. And now you can come up here to the uh, snap to custom nodes, you could turn that off. And then you hold shift and click on the other green polygon so you have them both selected. And go to path union. And then pressing uh, your shift key, click on the blue, squ uh, the blue polygon in the middle. And then let's go to path intersection. Okay, and after that, let's click on the red polygon. Let's right click on that. Let's go to duplicate. And let's turn that black. And let's lower that to the bottom by clicking this button right here, lower selection to the bottom. And then hold Control and Shift and click on uh, one of these arrows just to bring it out to about there. Make it about that big. It's just going to be a border, so that should work. All right, and once that's done, just click and drag over this whole thing. And let's just bring it over to the right. We're, gonna, we're just going to leave that alone for a minute. We're going to create our next thing. So let's go over to the circle, click on that. Hold Control and click and drag on the screen to create a perfect circle like that. And then come back to our arrow over here. Let's click on that. And up here, let's click on this lock icon and come over to the width where it says W. Let's erase whatever numbers are in there and write it in 150. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to go and create a, a square. So click on the Create Rectangles and Squares and hold Control and create a perfect square just like that. And let's go back to the arrow and let's make the uh, the width of this 150 as well. Let's just type in 150 and hit enter and that should do that. And let's turn that let's turn that red. And let's hold shift and click on the circle so you have them both selected and let's center it up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. Now we're going to click off the screen to deselect them. Let's next click on the square and come up here to where it says lower selection one step. We're just going to lower it beneath that circle just like that. And then we're going to click and drag over the whole thing and click on it a second time to bring up the rotation handles. And while holding your control key, click and drag so it rotates like this. You want these corners going perfectly up and down like that. All right, now let's, let's deselect everything and click that button. And then let's click on this circle and then right click it and go to duplicate. And then while holding shift, click on that, that uh, blue, uh, that red square in the background and go to path difference. And then go to path 
break apart and let's deselect everything. And let's go and delete these three corners right here. Let's click on the first one, press the delete key on your keyboard, delete that, or you can just right click on the, or you just right click on it and go to delete. That works as well. And the next thing we'll do is let's click on this circle. Let's right click on that. Let's go to duplicate and let's hold control and shift and click and drag one of these corners to bring it in. We'll make it about that big. And then afterwards, click on this little uh, red corner down here, then hold shift and click on the, the larger black circle. And we're going to go to path union. Okay, so after that, let's right click on this, uh, this new red shape here. That's going to be our map marker. Let's duplicate that. Let's turn that black. And let's lower that two steps. So where you go up to where it says lower selection one step, you click that twice. And you come over to the stroke paint tab. And let's click the blue button to turn that on. And stroke style, we're going to give that a 15 point stroke. So just type in 1-5 and hit enter. Um, I'm going to do uh, a 20 point stroke actually. 2-0 and then hit enter. Yeah, we want it a little thicker than that. So that's why I went with uh, 20. So once it's set to 20, just go to path. Stroke to path, and then path, break apart, path, union, just like that. Okay, now let's click and drag over this whole thing, and let's group it together by clicking the group selected objects button. And let's bring it over here, bring it on top of our little uh, polygon box that we created, bring it on top of it like that, and then hold shift and click on... Uh, any one of these, uh, either the red or the black polygon, either one. So just click on one of those and go to center on the vertical axis, just like that. And let's click off the page to deselect everything and then click on just our map marker. Let's hold the control key and click on this top arrow and just drag it out. We want to make this a little bigger. We want the, um, the map marker to be the focal point of this, of this logo. So let's say about that big works. All right. Now let's click and drag over the whole thing. Let's shrink this down a little bit. Let's hold Control and Shift, and then just click and drag in one of the corners. Make this a little smaller. Okay. Now let's ungroup everything. Click that button once, the ungroup selected objects. Click that once. And then let's come over to uh, this little circle in the middle. Let's click on that. Come over to the opacity. Slide that all the way to the right. And let's turn that white. And then we'll come to the map marker. We'll slide that all the way to the right. Uh, it's already red, but um, we could choose a nicer shade of red than that. I think we can go with something like that. Whatever you want to do, cho you know, choose whatever shade you'd like. I personally like this shade right here. And then let's click on the black border behind it. Let's click on that, and let's bring the opacity all the way up. And let's turn that white. And let's click on this little blue object in the center here. We'll bring the opacity all the way up for that and we'll turn that white and then click on this um, this red polygon in the background click on that bring the opacity all the way up to the right and let's turn that let's pick like a nice shade of blue for that something like yeah that works we'll do that and then finally let's finally let's click on this black polygon in the background let's bring the opacity all the way up and let's turn that white. So I'm going to turn that white. Now let's click and drag over the whole thing. Let's group it together with the uh, group selected objects button. And then let's right click it and go to duplicate. And let's ungroup it and go to path union. So you should end up with, it, it'll turn white. What you're going to want to do is turn that black. And then let's lower it one selection. You click that button once. And then come over to the Stroke Paint tab. Let's click the blue button to turn that on. Let's give that a, let's try a 10 point stroke. Let's see what 10 looks like. Maybe we'll go with 15. Okay, yeah, we'll do 15. And once you've done that, let's go to Path, Stroke to Path, Path, Break Apart, Path, Union. And press the F7 key to bring up your dropper tool. You press F7, it's going to bring up this color dropper. And let's click on this blue part right here. We're going to make that the same color blue that the uh, that, that uh, polygon in the middle is. So after you've done that, go back to our arrow. And we could actually go over to the fill tab over here and make this a lighter shade of blue. 
just to add a little bit of contrast between that and the polygon in the middle. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I think that works. All right, so once, once that's done, let's click and drag over the whole thing. Let's group it together and let's draw a circle. So come over to the circle tool, hold control and click and drag, create a nice big circle like that. You come over to the stroke tab and turn that off. Just click the, the X button. And we're going to make that, um, we're going to make that a shade of orange, I think. Maybe yellow, orange. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we'll start out with, with that shade of yellow. We can go over to the fill tab and you could play around with the colors. Make it any color you want. I'm going to go with that, something like that. Like a deeper orange. So once you've created your circle, come back over to the arrow and let's lower it down one selection. And then let's hold shift and click on our little logo in the center there and let's center that up. Center on the vertical axis and on the horizontal axis. And let's deselect everything. And now you could play around with the, um, the size of this circle right here. I think this is a little too big. There's too much padding in here for my liking. So I'm gonna hold control and shift and click and drag to make this a little smaller. Something like that, maybe. All right, yeah, that works. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give this a little, uh, like a drop shadow effect that you see in like a lot of flat style icons and stuff. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Bring your cursor up to the top of the screen over here. You see where this little ruler is? Once you bring your cursor over that ruler, you're going to see a little black arrow sliding around alongside it. Bring your cursor all the way to the top right side of that arrow and click and drag and it's going to bring out this line kind of like this and place that line right on the top edge of the blue border right there and let's go back up there and, and uh, grab another one so go ahead and the top right border let's click and drag that out and let's connect that right to the right to this back corner right here we're going to put that right on the corner and then we're going to go to our bezier pen we're going to click on that and we're going to start down here where it's going to snap to this blue it's going to snap to this blue line automatically you're going to click on that and just bring it all the way up here and snap it onto that point up at the top and then bring it down to the point at the bottom and click on that and then bring it back down here click and then bring it over here to connect it together now let's turn that let's turn that black and let's turn the stroke off of that and click on the stroke paint tab and click X and then come back to the arrow let's click on that and let's lower this one selection and then we're gonna click on the circle and we're gonna right click that and go to duplicate and then hold shift and click on that black shape we just drew so you have them both selected and go to path intersection now we can go over here to opacity we're gonna slide this down a fair amount about that much I'd say and after that, hover your cursor. We're going to get rid of these lines now. In order to do that, you're going to hover your cursor over the line. And once you'll know it's it's you'll know it's directly over it once the line turns red. So once the line turns red, leave your mouse there and press the delete key. And that's going to get rid of that. Oops, I accidentally got rid of the drop shadow. Okay, so make sure before you do that, deselect everything. So once you have everything deselected, bring your mouse over the line until it turns red and then press delete. And we do the same thing over here. See now it's red. Oh, I lost it. There we go. Now it's red. This could be a little tricky sometimes. It's very it's very it's like a fine point you got to you got to land it on. So All right, so that's gone now. Uh we, what we can do now is we can draw a box over this. We're going to use that as the background, something like that, some kind of rectangle. Let's click the uh arrow and let's lower that to the bottom. And then let's uh bring the opacity all the way up. And let's press F7 to bring up your dropper. And we're going to make that the same shade of orange that this circle is. And click on that. But we're going to come over to the fill and we're going to make this a little lighter, actually. I'm going to dullen this up a little bit. Maybe something. I might even bring it off that shade. Yeah, I'll do something like that. All right, so after you've done that, you could press the F1 key to get back to your arrow. That's another shortcut to get to the arrow. If you don't want to keep clicking on things over here, you could learn these little shortcuts. So F1, F7 is how you bring up the dropper. F1 is how you bring up the arrow. And you'll learn these things as time goes on. So once you have your arrow, let's click on the orange circle. Let's right-click on that. Go to Duplicate. We could turn that white. And let's lower that once, twice, 
three times and then hold control and shift and just click and drag it out like that and just to give it like a nice white border and then we could take this rectangle and center it up on there something like that and then we're finished that's uh, how you can create a like a flat style map marker or location sort of logo using Inkscape so if you have any questions just let me know and thank you for watching